Good morning. Please excuse the disheveled appearance. I woke up and saw the sky and immediately ran outside and grabbed myself some water. And that was it. Today is such a treat, not only because I got to see this beautiful sunrise, but I have gotten to the point in my story where my two main characters meet and it happens pretty early on but I've drafted up until that point and that is probably one of my favorite scenes in the book. I decided to leave it for this morning so I could wake up early, make myself the London Fog and then sit and read it. And then what I think I'm gonna do after is I am gonna reread and take out all of the world building and exposition that I do and kind of explaining that I do and put it in a separate document so I can see without the rest of the story I can see what I've told the reader and what the reader knows because it can get very overwhelming when you're drafting I just want a document that has everything that I need to know that I've told the reader oh I think it's starting to rain This part of the sky is completely clear and then this part is all rainstorm, so I'm not sure, but I'm so happy I got to see this. I am very excited to read this chapter and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, I suppose we should get to it.
I am currently reading A Natural History of Dragon. Let me tell you, my best friend saw this in a bookstore and read the description and immediately was like, this is such a Megan book. And it really and truly is. <laughs> it is set up as a memoir of a dragon naturalist and I am about 55 pages into it and I already love it. Lady Trent is like Jane from Tarzan but with dragons with a lot of fun and quirky anecdotes of her being a proper lady who is drawn to the scandalous study of books and nature and all things dragons. Love this story and I'm only 50 pages in so I can imagine it's only going to get better from here. And there's a lot of really cool pictures throughout of hand-drawn dragons which I just think are so fun. I'm really liking Lady Trent or Isabella as she's known as. I love a story where you immediately fall for the main character and she is absolutely one of those individuals. A story that focuses on a naturalist who is studying dragons is very, very exciting to me. One of the quotes on the back says, if you ever secretly wished dragons were real, this story is for you. And I 100% have wished many times in my life that dragons were real. So I definitely feel like this story is for me. <laughs> Lady Trent, I'm very much looking forward to reading your memoirs.
I did not practice safe sun exposure today and I regret it. I realized when we got to the beach that I forgot sunscreen. So, always, always, always practice sun safety. It is very important. I was sitting out here looking up at the sky and I was thinking about something that I think is a really important practice in life and something that I've always done instinctively, something that has always kept me really happy and really grounded. I have just spent the week out here in this beautiful place in nature, which always makes me the happiest is being in nature. It's where I feel the most calm and that's really hard because I live in a city and I live in a very large city and while it may feel like to most people this is my element and in so many ways it is being here out in the middle of nowhere very much feels right but being in the city also feels right. I am not that bummed about having to go home soon. I still have another day here and the reason for that is I always instinctively look up at the sky and I was sitting here and I was watching the clouds drift by thinking how absolutely beautiful they are because they really really are this time of year the clouds almost get speckled and they are a part of a painting and I love August skies for that reason and it's something I've always done I've always been amazed by clouds and the sky and I've always had my head metaphorically in the clouds and it might feel cheesy and hokey but no matter where I am if I'm in the middle of a busy city or I'm sitting out here I always have access to the sky I can always look up and be amazed by a particular cloud formation or the blue of the sky or the gray or whatever it may be it's always there for me and us, no matter where we are. So if you ever are feeling particularly down, or if you're watching this video and wishing that you could be here and you could have this kind of life, just go outside and look up because it's the same sky no matter where you are and it's always there. And there are so many beautiful things to see, so many clouds to take note of, birds, even a plane, they're magnificent and it's right there for you. Just look up and that's what I do. And I've done it my whole life and I've never, at least not yet, I've never felt particularly claustrophobic in the city or like I need to get out and have this kind of life. And I think it's because no matter where I am, I always find the beauty in nature around me because it's there. You just have to look for it, whether it's a busy sidewalk or an open cornfield. I promise you it is right there.
have someone currently laying an egg and letting her friends know that she would like a little privacy. Uh, it's our last full day here today, which is so hard to believe that the week is almost over and I just can't believe it. I can't believe it's already here. This week has really, really flown by and in so many ways it has been a wonderful week and I'm so happy. Got through 13 chapters, almost 37,000 words of my story, which is so amazing. My goal for this week was to write and the fact that I was able to is really just the biggest accomplishment. I'm so happy and I feel like I'm going to be able to ride that momentum going forward. I took weeks and weeks and weeks off and I was really feeling that absence in my life and to have it back is really, really big. <laughs> I love that the chickens are in the background. I don't, I hope you don't mind because I really don't. Last night, Fatuma and I laid out and watched the meteor shower and finally got to see the stars because in all of my summer adventures the sky has been overcast at night and I haven't been able to see the stars. So we were able to look up and see Perseus and Ursa Major and Jupiter and the moon and it was so pretty and to kind of close off this week. And I think today I am gonna probably just read. I have some laundry that I want to do, some cleaning, and just generally organizing but taking it really really slow i wasn't able to get that document done that i was talking about i think i'm gonna maybe work on that today i started to do it and then i realized that it was going to be a lot more complicated than i thought it would be i thought it was just going to be simply copying and pasting passages but i'll have to do a little bit more writing to make it more clear what is being revealed i hope that was that made sense because I am exhausted and it's super early in the morning and I've barely had two sips. <laughs> I just wanted to say a big thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've made it this far, I have no notion of how long this video is going to be. I feel like it's going to be a long one, but I hope you enjoyed it. And if you feel so inclined, if you've enjoyed this so far, maybe consider hitting that subscribe or the like button because it does go a long way. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you. I appreciate this place and I appreciate this life. And for now, I look forward to a day reading and relaxing. Cheers, friends.